Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share Psalm 9, verses 11 to 20. Tell everyone God's wonderful deeds. Sing praises to the Lord who sits enthroned in Zion. He tell among the peoples his deeds, for he who avenges blood is mindful of them. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. Be gracious to me, O Lord. See my affliction from those who hate me. O you who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may recount all your praises, that in the gates of the daughter of Zion I may rejoice in your salvation. The nations have sunk in the pit that they made, in the net that they hid their own foot has been caught. The Lord has made himself known, he has executed judgment. The wicked are snared in the work of their own hands. He on. The wicked shall return to Sheol, all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. And the hope of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the nations be judged before you. Put them in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know that they are but men. Psalm 9, 11 to 20. Whether we tell other Christians or unbelievers the wondrous works of God, we are declaring His majesty and power. The decision to give witness to God's acts of mercy and grace is an act of worship in itself. The Lord never forgets these acts of humility that declares our nothingness in comparison to His greatness. It is a manifestation of our service and obedience to his command to make him first among all things. In this psalm, David recounts all the things the Lord has done for them and how he looks forward to those promises God gave his people, especially those who are forgotten, such as the needy. David is hopeful that God will bring them justice and mercy. Adoration. Praise the Lord for all his wondrous deeds. Glory and praise to him alone. Confession. I will speak of God's goodness to as much people as I can. Thanksgiving. Thank you for all your faithfulness to deliver your promises to us. Supplication. May we only speak of your wondrous deeds instead of complaining. Reflection. What happens to our hearts when we speak of God's wondrous deeds to others? When we witness to others about God's goodness and mercy and all the gifts that He gives us, we are actually bringing light to the darkness. We also bring light to our heart and we stop focusing on what we don't have or what we have lost or what we don't get. And then we learn to be able to uh, focus on what God does for us. When we change the perspective of what we have instead of what we don't have, we become uh, thankful, we become grateful, we, we become... Um, we are unable to see the negative, then we become, we become more positive, we become more joyful and less stressed out. So when we begin to account the many things that we get from the Lord and declare it to others, we are actually shining the light that God has given us as believers. And that's one way of uh, showing our humility, showing our gratitude to God for all the little things and the big things that He gives us. So I encourage you, tell everyone what God has done in your life, and it will dramatically change the way you see things, the way you relate to others, the way you relate to God. So I encourage you, in the midst of this COVID-19 that we are... Um, the world is actually experiencing on a global scale. We, I ask you to tell what God has done in your life during these times of a pandemic. 
because there is something that he's doing but you need to look at it what it is so that you will be able to have this hopeful attitude and thankful attitude thanks for watching God loves you so much. Please check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks and photographs, just like the one I just did here in, in the back. And <clears throat> subscribe to my channel, please, so I can make more videos for the Lord. God loves you so much. Stay safe. God bless.